Okay, in this video we're going to quickly go over the tool um, over here, which is the circular arc tool with a center between two points. Um, so I have a custom tool here. I'm going to basically create a square. And I just want to show you how to use this tool. Um, when you click it, it gives you help, right? It says select the center and two points. So what it, this tool is doing is it's going to create an arc. All you have to tell it is where the center of the arc will be, and then the two points you're selecting is the route from which the arc will travel, where it will start, and where it will end. So if I want this to be my center, I can have the arc go from this point up to, and see it follows me as I scroll, up to this point here, and I've created an arc. And then I can do the same thing if I click this center, and I go from here down to there, notice what the tool does is it actually goes in a full out uh, the counter direction. Let me just zoom out so you can see. So the order will matter, right? Let me just do that again so you can see. When you use this tool, if I go in a clockwise manner, the arc will then fill the complement space. You see that? It'll go all the way around there, and I'll highlight that color change it to maybe pink. Right, so the pink is that's the first arc and here the second arc we just created arc D we'll put in blue. So you can see the order that you select the points does matter and really quickly to go over how the tool works again if I select this as my center and I go from this point right down here you see how it forms the other circle is flashing just because I'm going in clockwise there. But here, I'll go from this point down, it'll form an arc. But if I do the same thing and I go from this point, right? Ooh, I just did that. If I go from here, sorry, this is my center, and I start here and I go up, notice the circle again fills the complement space of the other arc. So you can see how these things work. Anyway, that's how the tool works. You select a center, and you typically want to go counterclockwise from one point to the next. Thanks.